What is up everyone? Welcome back to Suikoden, Tier Creus. So I did the wool cloth buying and selling trick over and over again. Got a lot of money, 300000 in between episodes. Uh, basically what you do, if you didn't see the last episode, you go to Grey Ridge, buy 30 wool cloths. And then you sell them to the Porpoise Ken capital here. Uh, and you get a 30,000 profit every time you do it. It doesn't take that long either. Let's go to the coastal cave. I also bought everything that I could possibly buy in every single town. I went back to all the towns and bought one of everything. Alright, the next dungeon of the game, Coastal Cave. Coastal Cave near Neneus Hot Springs. Well, deep within. This is the Coastal Cave. That was quick. It's right next door. Why did the order hide the beads here and not further away. I think they wanted to torment us. They enjoy seeing our frustration at the fact that we can't retrieve what is within a wave's reach. I guess that gives them more leverage to make you listen to their demands as well. Those guys really ticked me off. All right, Coastal Cave. And right off the bat, we got two new enemies. We have Gelfish and Sea Serpent. Take out the sea serpent first, I guess. Oh crap, I just realized losing the front back row, or front row. Not very wise. Need to move him to the back row. Put the porpoise kin in the front. I'll probably go buy the porpoise kin some equipment. Actually. And Jellfish are pretty fast. Nice. Oh, Nimni's gonna level up quite a bit. She is five levels lower than everybody else, so. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to um go buy her some equipment. Alright, I'm back to pretty much where I was. I went and bought Nimni some equipment. As you can tell, katana, scale shield, warrior armor, and silver boots. Up to 171 defense. Pretty good physical defense. Alright, let's head to the coastal cave. And another cutscene. Hey, there's something on the ground over there. Oh, where? You don't see it? It's right there. What is this? It's a necklace, I think. These are the beads of the priestess. You sure? So, all we need to do is bring this back to Neira and we're done? You gotta be joking. After all that fuss? No, you see, there are many beads of the priestess. What? Each priestess over the ages has, their, has made their own and there are several hundred in all. Several hundred? Yes, but not all were taken from us. Only a few dozen at most. We have already retrieved most of them. I thought we'd already... I thought we'd already checked this area, but we must have overlooked this one. How could you overlook it? It's right there at the entrance. Wait a second. Didn't you tell us you hadn't been able to get them back? That's right, we retrieved some 
but failed to find them all. There are parts of this cave we have not been able to search. That is where the rest of these are hidden, you mean. But why couldn't you search for them? You'll see why once we once we get a bit further in. You got beads of priestess. They kind of shortened it a little bit there. All right, we got new to me in the middle there. Uh, Sahajin head. What is this? Final Fantasy. Sahajin. What is a Sahajin anyway, guys? I know it's like a fish creature, but it's just like something that is in a lot of JRPGs. Because it's weird that Sahajin's like in every Final Fantasy. It's like the only like recurring really like I mean there are some recurring enemies in Final Fantasy but uh, there's not too many of them um, but Sajin's just one of the ones that's been in like every single game and I think it's like the only one that's been in every game just about Goblins has been in a few, but not all of them. And it's like... I don't know, Final Fantasy is just not known for Sajin. I don't know what it is. Like, They're known for like... Tonberries, Moogles, Cactars. But no one talks about Sajins. Even though they've been in literally every single game, just about. So why, are, why isn't Sajins like the face of Final Fantasy? Like, when you think of Dragon Quest, you think of Slimes, right? Because they've been in every single game. Should be called Slime Quest instead of Dragon Quest. Because there's more Slimes than there are Dragons. <laughs> As for Suikoden, I would say their recurring enemy is like a Holy Boy. Holy Boy's been in pretty much every game. Except for Suikoden uh, 4. Well, I don't know about the spinoffs. Okay, we got another Numi here. We got Neneus Turtle. Just like the ones in Grey Ridge Mine they like to defend. It's kind of annoying. But that makes them pretty easy because all they're doing is defending. So if you need enemies to recover against, it's be a good enemy to recover. With like uh, Aaron's ability. So like the main character got healed there. For free basically because that enemy just defended. We, di uh, we didn't take any damage in that fight. So we just basically got free healing there. Iron ore and silver ore for defeating them. Oh, nothing down here, huh? Just a dead end. Alright, Nimni leveled up there, level 22. Or iron and silver ore. Not really sure which way we gotta go, but hopefully not this way. Okay, good. She shall shield. By the way, I think it's awesome that I gave Nimni a katana. I think that's cool. Little fish, little fish creature using a katana. It's kind of cool. Okay, so we have a path leading up. I think there's another path to take too. Yep, that path leads up too. Okay, this is dead end. Dead end. Okay, so we can go up here. I don't know if there's any other paths back here. I'm going to go back and check just to make sure I didn't miss any paths. Okay, we got new to me here. Pierce a bird.
Let me heal up with the main character here. Heal up Nimni some. Go, got him. M Nimni leveled up there, level twenty-three. Paro meat and piercer beak. All right, yeah, there's nothing back there, so we just gotta go up here. Path leading up there, we can go down this way too. Just over there. Got a trident for free, even though I bought one. I'm just going to start escaping from enemies though. I don't really want to fight anymore. So I've just been running from the enemies because I don't really... There's not really much benefit to fighting right now because... We're not really gaining anything. I think that's the path we got to take. Let's go back the other way. It's weird how it says it escape. Whenever you escape, it says it escape safely. That, that, it's kind of weird how it says that. Shouldn't it be you escape safely? Oh, it's a dead end. Okay. All right, let's go back to the other room then. It escape safely. Or or they escape safely. It should be. Should definitely be they or you. Should def never be it. Okay. This okay. So each of these take you to a different spot. Okay. All right. So there's five geysers. Um, we need to go through one, four. And then three. This is one far left to get chest. And then we'll go to the third one to advance the storyline. Well, there is, there is area bosses in this area too, but we haven't encountered one yet. Alright, main character leveled up there, 26. And by the way, uh, I would have dual wielded with um, Nimni, but you can't. If you look here, you can't you can't equip uh, two swords, unfortunately. On um, her thirty thousand potch. By the way, I think I'm going to load up my save and um, not exploit the game. I don't think I'm going to exploit the game, guys, because I feel bad about doing it. I regret my decision to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just escape here, so I'm going to show this battle. Yeah, see how it says it escaped safely? It's kind of weird. But anyway, we can go back now. But yeah, I am going to re reload my save. I just feel bad. About kind of exploiting the game a little bit. Basically taking advantage of the game. Can I escape please? Thank you. Alright. 
So yeah, I think I'm going to load up my save. I'm going to do all this over again. And um, just go from there. I just, I don't know. I just, like I said, I feel bad. I don't like, I don't like exploiting games and stuff. We're going to go to number four next. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to load up my save. I'm going to go through this whole cave again. And basically revert all the changes that I did in the last episode to like get a bunch of money. I don't think it was right doing that. I'd rather not exploit the game. So I'm not going to do that. We're not going to take advantage of trading in this game. We're just going to... Uh, well, we'll 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 buy and sell, but we won't do if it's too mu if it's a lot. We won't do it more than once. How about that? We'll set a limit of one time, so I can do Gray Ridge, and or I can do the wool cloth one time. I can sell thirty wool cloths, buy them in Gray Ridge, sell them in the Porpoise Ken uh, base one time. That's it. And I can't do it no more than one time. That'll be the limit that I do. Per item. Per trade item. Okay. So I'll do it like that from now on. To limit myself. You know, I don't want to... I feel it's very exploitative, you know. So I don't want to do that. I've never been the type to do that in games. I never take advantage of like glitches. Stuff like that bugs and all that unless it's a show it off like I'll, I'll show it off I have no problem showing off glitches and stuff but I don't like to partake in them myself you know so yeah I just feel bad it's like a morale thing or morale morality thing for me like I just feel bad and w when I feel bad doing something I shouldn't do it it doesn't feel right to me, you know? So, yeah, even though it's not a big deal, I mean, it's just a game, you know, but I don't know, it just, it just feels scummy to me. I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but it just, it doesn't feel right. And plus, I'm doing a let's play of the game. I shouldn't, because maybe you guys don't want to do it either. You guys may not want to take advantage of that either. So, some of you probably will, some of you won't. And that's perfectly fine, whatever you decide. But for me, I'm just going to do the limit of one, trading one per uh, item from now on going forward. So like, wool cloth, I can sell 30 of those max. Sometimes I could sell 99 of one time. And so on and so forth. It depends on the limit of the item, whatever it is. Some items limit of 10. Some have a limit of 30. Some have a limit of 99. It depends on the item. Some have a limit of 20. So, yeah. But I can only sell one item. The max limit of one item per item. So, or limit of one, I mean. So there you go. That's from now on, going forward. Alright, so I loaded up my save, my save state that I had. And we're back to a low amount of money again. Uh, we got new to me here, some more chick. These things can drop eternal feathers, which you can sell for a lot. By the way, I'm not limiting, if I get items from drops, I'm not limiting how many I can sell. If I get like, uh, well, basically I just can't exploit the shops is what I'm saying. Like I can't like keep going back and forth selling wool cloths over and over again. I just can't do that anymore. As you can tell, I only have $34,000 now instead of where I started this episode with what 300,000 and I also don't have any of this items from the shops anymore either 
So we're back to a low amount of money again, and I like it that way. Anyway, gonna go through Geyser 4. Okay, we got another enemy here, Sea Scorpion. Oh, they can paralyze you. Most scorpions can poison you, but these can paralyze you. Interesting. I don't know why, every time I see a scorpion though, I think of uh, that episode of uh, Walker, Texas Ranger where where Walker had to save, I forget her name, Cahill? I forget, I forget what her name is. The blonde haired woman in Walker, Texas Ranger, he had to save her from a scorpion or something to that extent. I don't remember how the episode went exactly, but he had to go and save her from a scorpion. Something to that extent anyway. It's been so long since I watched that episode. I don't really remember too much, but I just remember that it was a little small scorpion too. And Walker had to like drive out to the ranch or whatever it was and save her from it. Alright, let's go to Geyser 4 and then we'll go to Geyser 3 to advance deeper into the place. Oh, not that way. There's a chest in one of these uh, paths. Here we go. Shell backplate. All right, now that you have the 30,000 pots in the cell backplate, you can go to the middle one here and we'll be able to advance. Of course, hopefully you don't be like me and get into encounter one step before getting into the geyser. I can't believe that just happened. Like literally one step. Still haven't encountered the area boss in this area, which is weird. Yep, this is the path we gotta take right here. This will lead to a chest. Adept shoes. Whoa, those are really good. Plus 20 to attack, defense, and technique. Really good. Best accessory we've gotten so far. Alright, want to take the east path again here. To lead to another chest. Mystic Medicine. Herbal Medicine. And Googly Tree Sep gives full HP and MP. Wow. That's crazy. It's like an elixir. the hot spring. We want to go ahead and heal up some here. Probably getting close to the boss battle I'd imagine. I think I remember the boss coming up.
Yep, here we go. Holy! Huh, I think we have a problem. Is that a crab? Some kind of lobster? Whatever it is, it's big. This is what has prevented us from going further. It simply cannot be defeated. It can't be defeated? That's right. We don't know why, but no matter what method we use to attack it, it just won't die. Hey, I know. It must be a renegade. Yeah, like that black thing back in the forest. In that case, we're okay. We've got Cougar on our side. Huh? People from other worlds can defeat renegades, remember? Yep. Yeah, you're right. I totally forgot about that. Okay, Cougar, show them what you're made of. I don't really understand what this is all about, but I guess I just beat this thing up, right? Right. Let's get busy. All right, it's boss time. Against. Bowing Crab. All right, so we'll do Masterpiece. We'll do Silence Grit. We'll do two-way spear. And then Nimni can just attack there. Ooh, 500 damage, not bad. Remember, only Cougar can deal the final blow though, this thing. I'll actually have Blue Hill Nimni there. Masterpiece. Boom. Oh, it's looking to do an AoE. Yep, AoE breath attack. There you go, finish it, Cougar. Not yet. Oh, yep, there it is. It's dead. Yeah, so once your other characters do zero, Cougar just has to deal the finishing blow. For defeating it, you get a giant crab meat and rainbow thread. Saves the day. Magnificent. This day shall be remembered. Hey, don't get yourself too worked up. Come on, let's start exploring further in. Okay. Gotta find those beads. Look, here they are. Gotta give the beads to the uh, priestess. Give her a pearl necklace. Sorry, I, I had to say it. Good thing the younger viewers won't know what that means anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> Look, here they are. These have got to be the last. We finally got them all back, so now we can... Uh-oh, what's going huh? on? Vision? Yep.
Huh, stop the porpoise skin. Weird. Did, did you see that? Yeah, it's like that other book. What was that vision? So, you saw it too, Nimni. How about you, Cougar? Not a thing. But I know what you saw. I saw the same back in my world many times. You do? Oh, of course. You have the mark of the stars too. The other Marika was the same. She could see the vision back in her own world, but not here. I guess it's not visible to people from other worlds then. But you saw it, didn't you? Even though you aren't from this world. Yeah, it's true. But I can only go by what Hutzba told me, so I can't be sure. Uh, I, I hate to interrupt, but I I'm not sure I follow what this is all about. Oh, sorry, Nimni. Uh, let me start at the beginning. I see. This is a lot to take in. But if what you say is true, it means the Order didn't take the beads to threaten us, right? Yep. It's just one of the false chronicles they keep ranting about. I did think it was strange. The beads were stolen years ago, but the Order only recently made threats to destroy them. Really? Yes, they never made demands like that before. So they've had it for years. You think they used it for something, then threatened the porpoise when they finished with it? Used it for something? What? Well, we'd be a lot less in the dark if we knew that. Yeah, you're telling me. Does Nera know of the true nature of these beads? Who can say? Talking about it isn't going to help us now. Let's get it back to the priestess. You got Cerulean Flux. And we unlocked new Mark of the Stars, too. So I don't know if it all might equip them or not. Nope, looks like we'll have to go to that thing and equip them. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll meet you, I'll, and that'll be it for this episode, by the way. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later. Wouldn't mind encountering the area boss, though, before ending the episode, though. Hope you get a scene on the way out. Okay, I guess I'm not in the episode yet then. I looks like I was too late. Who are you? It's that guy again. I came thinking you may be seeking the Chronicle and I was right. Can't let you out of my sight, huh? An archivist. Archivist of the Order. We can't let you go with, with the bait meant for the porpoise, hmm? Not after setting up renegade to guard it you were behind the renegade silly me I've said too much in any case I'll be taking back that false chronicle dream on we're the ones who should be making demands here the beads of the priestess belong to the porpoise kin what poor poor ignorant children you are All false chronicles are to be the property of the order. It is so determined. It's false time. It's Conan again. This time we can actually defeat him. We can actually do damage to him. I think I'm actually going to put a shield on um, Nimni actually just to... Okay, there we go. Ooh, big damage there. That means defense is not that great. Of course, he uses a magical attack, which the shield does nothing against. That's okay. I guess I should have tried to silence him then. Almost dead already. Got him. Nice. For defeating me, get a ninja garb and a revival statue.
This cannot be. Defeat is inconceivable. What happened, huh? You are a weakling compared to the last time we fought you. That's not it. We've just gotten stronger. This cannot be happening. It is not possible. I got the power given to me by Valfred B. Bested by a bunch of children. Given by Balfred, you mean you don't you didn't touch the book? Looks like we're gonna have a lot of questions for you. Silence. Ignorant brats, you'll pay. You'll pay dearly for this. Next time it will be your end. No more second chances. Huh, stop. Too late. Cougar. Cougar, any luck? It's no good. I lost sight of him. Oh well. He didn't look to be a match for Cougar and Speed. Those guys seem to show up and then leave in a blink of an eye. I wonder how they do it. By some sort of teleportation or something. But anyway, let's get back to Aeneas. Who would want to want the order getting in our way again, and we must set Priestess Nero's mind at ease. Alright guys, so you have to run all the way out of here. I'm in the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later. No escape talismans in this game, so you just have to run all the way outside.